Grab a notebook, grab a pen Do your homework and tell a friend Know all the answers and buzz them in Who knows it better, you or them It's the cooking classroom, now let's begin Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis Boys! Oh! That's what I'm talking about, that game was nice You guys ready to play today? Let's do it! Steven family, you guys ready to rock? You want to call this a very special episode because you should. It's a Preston and Steve showdown. You're used to hearing Preston and Steve, but today it's Preston versus Steve. Today, check this out. We have Team Preston, Preston Elliott, Casey Boy, and my man Chuck D'Amico going head to head with Team Steve, Steve Morrison, Marissa Magnata, and Nick McAway, and they just entered the classroom. Now, it's usually students against their all time favorite teachers, but today and today only, it's WMMR's Radio Royal facing off against one another. It's winner take all on the bragging rights and $500 for a charity of their choice. Before we even talk to our contestants, we're kicking this off with a pop quiz. Let's go. All right, guys, the audience is feeling it. I'm loving the energy out there, and they should. We have a big one on our hands today. Guys, grab your buzzers. You're going to need them right here. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer you get right is going to be worth 10 points. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, your whole team's locked out, so be very careful because the other side can buzz in and still steal those points. I love it. You guys, the smiles are infectious. Let's play some pop quiz here. Steve, don't break the buzzer. <laughs> what is the long, flat bone in the front center of the human chest called? Here we go. First one in, Nick. Sternum. Sternum's right. And how about it, Team Steve? You're on the board first. That sound, guys, extra credit. Here's worth double. Zurich and Geneva are cities in what country? Casey. Switzerland. Switzerland is right. The Swiss Confederation. In Game of Thrones, the person sitting on the Iron Throne rules the Seven Kingdoms from what city? Preston. That is uh, King's Landing. King's Landing is right. Nice answer. What is nine multiplied by 12? Nick. Uh, 86. Nope. For the steal, Casey. 108. There it is. They're talking his way through that. Nicely done, Casey. In 2009, Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift's speech at MTV Video Music Awards to claim what artist had the best video of all time, Casey? Beyonce. That's Queen Bay, am I right? That's Queen Casey right now, getting them right. What is the first and last name of the U.S. president who gave the White House its current name in 1901? Nick. William McKinley. For the steal on the other side. Casey? Gordon Shumway? That's a heck of a name. Theodore Roosevelt was the right answer there. <laughs> Randall McMurphy rallies his fellow mental hospital patients against Nurse Ratchet in what book? Steve. One play with the cuckoo's nest. There he is. Nice job. In the NHL, how many minutes does a player serve for the first major penalty of the game? Nick? Five. Five, which you've never gotten, right? Never. There it is. Nicely done, guys. Pop quiz, shut down. And man, are we off to a good start. Team Preston 50, Team Steve is 30. You see how everyone's really friendly right now? I feel like we gotta mix it up, guys. I'm sending someone to detention right now. Okay. Preston, you look like a guy that's gotten a few detentions in your day. It's happened on occasion, yeah. But it's been a long time, right? Yeah, so yeah, you've yeah. cleaned the soul since then. Now look, mm -hmm. you could end up over there, but guys, you're gonna work together on this one. You don't even need your buzzers, so you can put those all down. Right, right. I'm gonna give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're gonna have 10 seconds to decide whether you wanna play or if you wanna pass it to the other side. You choose to play, you answer the question correctly, this is where it's the good part. You get to send somebody into detention, but, if you get it wrong, you could be sitting there yourself, so be really careful. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same exact elimination rules apply. You get everyone into detention, it's the best feeling in the world, and I'm gonna give you 40 points. The score, it's pretty tight right now, and Steve, you're behind, so we're gonna give you the goods here. How do you feel about your first category? Let's see how you do here. Pass or play on literature. I can play. All right, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll play. We're gonna play, here we go. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Seem confident, that's good. Yeah. What is the full pen name of the author of Murder on the Orient Express, who was dubbed the Queen of Crime? Yeah. Agatha Christie. Steve is 100% correct. Nice work. Hey, Steve, 
20 years, you and Preston have been doing this together. Yes. Could be the opportunity right now, or is it Casey or Chuck that need to go to detention? You guys can talk about it. Casey had a strong, yeah. strong first round. Casey, yeah. they're playing the smart game here. Casey out of the game. Look at that mug right there. He is not happy. He shouldn't. He's the first one in detention. There he goes. I love it. Get yourself comfortable, Casey. You got a long game ahead just to watch. Okay, Team Preston, Chuck, two left. Science, pass or play? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play. The brassy yellow mineral pyrite, or iron pyrite, is commonly known by what name? Fool's gold. Fool's gold. Okay, Preston, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> they strike back. And now you get to do the fun part. Who's joining Casey in detention? Oh, yeah. yeah. McElwain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. McElwain! Yeah. I think this is the time I should tell you, Nick personally texted me and says, I'm gonna win this game all by myself. <laughs> it's good to see an intent, you can't win it from there. And how about this, Steve and Marissa, you're back to you guys. Category, pass or play on sports. Ooh, uh, we'll play. All right, here we go. What country has the most men's soccer FIFA World Cup titles? <laughs> you said we'll play, <laughs> you answer this. I was so confident. The most FIFA World Cup titles. Brazil. Brazil is right, yeah! How about this one? Five times they've won that. She just pulled that out and nicely done. All right, now you guys get to knock off another one. We got Chuck or Preston. Who do you send? Who, do, more importantly, do you leave to fight? I think they're both pretty even. Um, so, and there's different areas of expertise. Um, I'm gonna send Preston off. Preston oh. out of the game, and Chuck oh, is the last man standing. How about this for team camaraderie? Casey up to welcome him into detention. That's a who's who of detention right now, boys. You stay right there. All right, Chuck, here's what's good. You may be last man standing over mm -hmm. here, but the category's yours, okay? Okay. So your back's against the wall, pass your play on pop culture. Oh, I have to play. Have to play, here you go. <laughs> I love this question for you. Channing Tatum began dating what singer in 2018? <sighs> the look says it all. Yeah. Here we go, Chuck, five seconds. What singer? <laughs> um, Jesse right J was the answer <laughs> there, and how about it, Chuck? You couldn't get it done, you go to detention. Oh, I gotta and go, I gotta go. How about this go one, sit. Nick? You're officially released. How about this for scores? Team Steve strikes back and they take the lead 70 points for them. They're celebrating and they should be. Preston's with 50. When we come back, we're gonna see how well the Preston and Steve show can SBE double L spell. See you after the break. this one today we have a very special episode WMMR's Preston and Steve show they're going head to head it's Preston against team Steve and let's talk to him because man they're here and I want to hear from you Preston team captain yes sir 500 is on the line today if you guys win it where are we putting the money guys American mm. Red Cross perfect place to put that yep. cash we have a we have a blood drive every year with the American Red Cross and we want to continue to help those well, guys well that out. 500 will go a long way yep. Casey good to see you executive producer of the show glad you're here uh, the biggest thing I can remember from you you got to tell me about this you drove your car into a pond yeah. not on accident no totally on purpose and I did it on behalf of the Preston and Steve show uh, we did a month of stunts thing a long time ago probably around 2002 ish and uh, we we, there was a pond out in front of Lynn Villa Orchards that I drove my car live on the air yeah. into the pond, probably at about 25 miles per hour. I would not recommend doing that. Let's just put that yeah, disclaimer yeah. right here. Don't do that. But this hey, is before we have lawyers. Chuck, you're not Kathy. I'm not. And Kathy, usually we see her, we hear her, but not today. She's I've, I've never sick. felt less wanted in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not true, Chuck. I love you. You're good to see it. You're assistant program director for the right. stage. We've heard heard all about you. You got to make all the decisions over there. Uh, you had a huge first on the show just a little bit ago. Yeah, about uh, three years ago. Uh, growing up, I only had apples, oranges, and bananas. They were the only fruit in our house, but these guys made me try I don't know, 30 or more fruits uh, live on the radio for the first time in my life, and I was in my 40s. You, you made it? And do you still it. eat them now? Yeah. Uh, not really. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it went well. All right, look, that's your team, Preston, right there. They're in. The, they're 20 points behind, but not bad. Not bad here. So that's everybody's game. And let's meet Team 
Steve. 500, Steve. If you guys win it, where's it going? Well, we're sending uh, Marissa to the World Cup. So <laughs> there we go. No, we're going to Phil. It's going to Phil Abundance. Oh, which is near and dear to our. You our guys show. have a great connection with them. You do a lot for them, so that's a good place. Yeah, to the play. camp out for hunger, and they're they're the main, you know, feeding people in the the Delo the uh, the tri-state area. They're awesome. Marissa, good to see you. Uh, you pulled that out of your hat right there, Team Brazil. I love to see that. You didn't know it. you rocked it. Uh, you, but you're a traveler. You've been to Cuba. You've been all around. So you got the Brazil thing going. Yeah, I've got the travel bug recently for the past few years. I uh, went to Cuba, and it was probably the most amazing place I've ever been in my life. Well, you look like you still have a solid tan from that. <laughs> so nicely done. Thank you. Well, hey, Nick, good to see you. I'm sorry you got out so early back there. I know you wanted to get in the game, but you're going to have a chance here coming up. You're a producer as well. Guys, he had the biggest climb ever a few, a few years ago. What would you do? I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. It's uh, 19,000 plus feet in uh, Tanzania and Africa. It's uh, my, my proudest accomplishment of my life. You know, it's, it's something that uh, you know, I did for charity. I'm yeah. really glad that I did. And uh, when I came down, I said I would never want to do it again because it was so challenging, so difficult. But I've been getting the bug lately. I'd yeah, like going go back, back next weekend. That's yeah. why he's growing his beard. I looks like a mountain man already. <laughs> hey, I'll check it out, guys. we got a big game ahead. Let's keep it going. We're going to spell check next. Okay, guys, here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. You get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. You eliminate everyone from the other side. I'm gonna give you 30 points if the clock runs out. Just for making it through the two minutes, guys, I'm gonna give each player left standing 10 points. We have a special theme for spell check today. Each word begins with either the letter P for Preston or the letter S for Steve. Yeah, as you're breathing deep, going, uh, yeah. oh man. Well, guys, good luck. Two minutes on the clock. Steve, you're in the lead, so we're gonna start with your side. All right. Here we go, first word, putter. Putter? P-U-T-T-E-R. Steve, nicely done. Preston, sedate. Sedate, S-E-D-A-T-E. -E. Good job. Solicit. Oh gosh. <laughs> S-O-L. I T C. No. That was a tough one. Okay, Marissa, <laughs> thanks for playing. Prodigy. P R O D I G Y. Good job. Pensive. P E N S I V E. He stays alive. Surmise. Surmise. S U R M I S E. Good job, Chuck. Squalid. S Q U A. L I D. That was a squalid answer. Perceived. P E R C I E V E D. Yeah. E I before E except after C. Pituitary. P I T U I T A R Y. Good job, Nick. Tough word. Succulent. S U C C U L E N T. Good job, Casey. Wow, tough word. Statuesque. S T A T U E S Q U E. Wow! Yeah, yeah it stays in there. Peripheral. P E R I F. Out of there. Down to our last speller on that side. Pneumonia. P N U E U. E -U. Hold on, it's Steve versus Casey. Here we go. Subservient. What's the word again? Subservient. S U B S E R V I E N T. Holding on, Casey. Synchronize. S Y N C H R O I Z E. N I Z E. Oh. Casey yeah. wins the round. 30 points, baby. Prince Preston up to 80 points for the game. We're not done yet. Those thirds were so hard. Let's test these radio hosts on how something they should know a lot about, and that songs. Music class is next, followed by the all-important final exam. The classroom is still in session when we come back. What a round! Special Preston and Steve edition continues right now. Make some noise because we're going to music class. Yeah. Yeah. All right, squads. I love.
love the energy of this audience today. They're all from Satterton, and they're pumped to be here supporting the squad. Guys, grab your buzzers, because you're going to need them here. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. you got to think. Radio personalities are going to know every song in the book. Well, we're going to find out, because I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then you guys know him, you love him. It's Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia. He reads a small portion of those lyrics. You buzz in first, you correctly answer my question, you're gonna win 10 points, all right? If you buzz in, you get it incorrect, your whole team's locked out. The other chance, the other side's gonna have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. We have three sets of lyrics today, guys. 30 points this round, good luck. What performer sings these lyrics in his 1963 hit song? Mike, welcome to the show. First off, hello to Steve and your team and Preston and your team. Good luck to both of you. Uh, this might relate to both you guys. Love is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery ring bound by wild desire. I fell into a ring of fire. First one to buzz in was Steve. Johnny Cash. JC, that's exactly right. Yeah. We had a tie ball game. Nicely done, and now we're all singing it in our heads right now. All right, guys, question two. Let's see if we can get you right back here. What band sings these lyrics in a 1995 smash hit? Mike, you did it. Let's do it again. All right, second one's a little tougher. Oh, little old me. Well, don't let me out of your sight. Oh, I'm just a girl all pretty and petite. First one in was Casey. No doubt. No doubt, just a girl. Yes. Yeah. Nicely done, Casey. And just like that, you take the 10 point lead, which is huge. Guys, you're gonna wanna tie this up because we're going to the final exam next. Now check this out, maybe it's BTS. Steve, get ready, so you never know. What band sings these lyrics in a song from their 1973 debut album? All right, Preston and Steve, here we go. Dramatic reading. Sing with me if it's just for today. Maybe tomorrow the good Lord will take you away. Dream on. Dream on. First one in here, Casey. Aerosmith. Dream yeah. on, and there's the 100 point first to the century mark. A big thanks to Mike Jarrett for that performance. Score stand as follow, 100 points for Team Preston over here doing I have no idea what. And Team Steve over here with 80 points. And there's, there's the move we know and love. Now guys, check it out. Put your books away, no calculators allowed. We're going to the final exam. The topic today is Philly Facts. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer, 100 points. You guys will write down your answers during the commercial break. Let's play, let's hear these questions, guys. In 1774, the first Continental Congress met in what hall in Philadelphia? Question number two, Philly Facts, final exam. What string of benefit concerts took place on July 2nd, 2005, all over the world, including in Philadelphia, where Bon Jovi, Destiny's Child, and Big Willie Spile himself, Will Smith, took the stage? Here you go, final question. Kim Cattrall starred in what 80s movie filmed in Philadelphia, primarily inside the old Wanamaker's department store. Okay, there are the questions. Each team, 60 seconds to talk about it. Will it be Team Preston in the lead right now, or will Team Steve come storming back to say that they are the aces of the classroom? Well, we're gonna find out in just a couple minutes. to the classroom today. How about this one, guys? It's a showdown for the ages between WMMR's Preston and Steve show. The scores stand, Team Preston in the lead. And man, they're feeling confident going into the final exam. 80 points for Steve, who's right on their heels. The topic of today's final exam is Philly facts. It's all about Philly. Each correct answer of the three questions is gonna be worth 100 points. Let's do it, guys. Let's get right into this final exam, see how well you guys did here. In 1774, the first Continental Congress met in what hall in Philadelphia? Steve, you guys are behind, so we're gonna start with you. Nick, you're holding it, what'd you say? My favorite hall after Monty, 
Independence Hall. Mm. Incorrect. Not going to get you any points. Hold right there. We move over to here to Chuck. You said? We also scored zero. Okay. <laughs> also, hi, Kathy. Good to see you. That's no points there. Carpenters Hall was the right answer, guys. Good try. What string of benefit concerts took place on July 2nd, 2005, all over the world, including Bon Jovi, Destiny's Child, Will Smith, Marissa, you said? Like its predecessor, Live 8, it was Live 8. There it is. Live 8, 180. Yes. They're in the lead, and it feels good, but how long, Casey? What'd you say? Oh, I... Also said live eight. And we got another 200 point lead. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Question three decides who walks out of here as classroom champion. Kim Cattrall starred in what 80s movie filmed in Philadelphia, primarily in sold inside the old Wanamaker's department store. Steve, get this right, or Preston, get ready to go because you guys are the winners. You said. I said the classic film, Mannequin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there he goes. Hold on to your horses. Preston, if you said mannequin, you win the game. Bragging rights for eternity, and I can't wait to hear it tomorrow on air. You said. Richard, I misspelled mannequin. <laughs> Who cares? It's not the spelling red. You're the big champs. $500 is going to the Red Cross. Congratulations for everyone being here today. I want to thank Preston and Steve. We'll see you next time. Big win for Team Preston. Good job, guys. Great game, great game, great game. That was fun, man. What a big win. Good job, Steve. Marissa.